Hi, uh, I was an extra on the first Harry Potter movie as one of the wizard kids. It was a wild experience, and today I'm going to tell you a bunch of behind-the-scenes secrets. Secret number one, Hagrid was a real guy. He was just a large man that lived near the set. He looked and smelled horrible. They only shot a scene with him because they wanted more creatures in the movie. Me and the other wizard kids, we would lure him out with meat from the catering table, and then we'd throw rocks at him. He kept yelling at us, oh, stay away from the castle, it's cursed, blah, blah, blah. The cuts from the rocks gave him a really bad infection, and he died a few days later. But the test audiences liked his scene so much, they CGI'd him into the rest of the movie. Movie magic, huh? Secret two, there were two Harry Potters. Casting child actors is apparently pretty tough, so they shot the movie a second time using another actor than Daniel Radcliffe. But once they decided Daniel Radcliffe would grow up to be hot, they decided to use his cut. My buddy Dave was the other Harry Potter and they never paid him. Secret three, mystery filming location. The flight to the UK was way shorter than I expected it to be. When we weren't shooting, they would lock us inside and they would close the blinds so I could never see outside of the castle and figure out where in the UK we actually were. But I did see a sign on the bus ride in that said Atlantic City, so we must have been near the ocean. Come to think of it, the producers, you know, they had normal British accents, but one time when they didn't know I was there, I overheard them speaking in American accents. Where do you think they filmed the movie? Leave a comment below. Secret four, Draco Sigfoy. Tom Felton, who played Draco Malfoy, taught me how to smoke cigarettes. Tom was clearly addicted. Uh, he said it helped him deal with the magic scenes, which were apparently really traumatizing to film. We blasted a pack of reds right before my first scene. I felt like I was gonna vomit, but he made me keep going. I would say, no more cigarettes, Tom, no more cigarettes, please. And he'd say, one more cigarette, just one. And I would say, no, please, Tom, no more cigarettes. And then he'd light one and then he'd hold me down and he'd put it in my mouth and make me smoke it. Secret five. No shots of the floor. There are never any shots of the floor in that movie because the castle was infested with rats. It looked like a furry living carpet. You couldn't take off your shoes because they'd be immediately dragged under the floorboards and eaten by the rodents. Every time they shot a scene with magic in it, more rats would show up. The walls were full of them. It would be hard to sleep because you'd hear them screeching and eating each other all night. And then sometimes you'd wake up covered in scratches. Secret six. The injuries at platform nine and three quarters. It took way more tries than you'd think for us to go through the wall at platform nine and three quarters. Lots of actors got sent to the ER because they kept bonking their heads on the wall and getting concussions. Rupert Grint was actually discovered there. Uh, he was just a regular kid about to board a train with his family. The production saw his tough, leathery forehead and they thought he'd be perfect for smacking his head against a brick wall. He kept hitting the wall and hitting the wall and hitting the wall. He was bleeding from his forehead and his eyes. He could barely see. But production said, keep going, Rupert. You're doing so good. And one time he finally made it and he disappeared through the wall. And we got the shot. His family was long gone at that point, and they haven't been reunited since. Even if they did meet again, they probably wouldn't recognize him because his face was permanently disfigured from hitting the wall so many times. Do you think Rupert Grint's performance as Ron was worth giving himself brain damage? Sound off in the comments. Secret seven, the dungeon creature. One time I was going to the bathroom and I got lost in the castle and and I, I saw something. It was dark so I couldn't get a good look but it was tall and lanky and red. It looked like a person but the way it crawled on the floor uh, I've never seen a, a human move that way. I asked the director about it and he, he just started slapping me. He was saying, do you want to screw this up for us? Do you really want to screw this up for us? So I, I, I kept quiet about it. Secret eight, head big. Hedwig, way bigger in real life. I only saw him once, but he was about the size of a buffalo. He was trying to fly away and the handlers, they had these ropes with hooks latched into his skin and they were trying to pull him down like a living parade balloon. Feathers and blood were flying everywhere. One of the producers was yelling, don't kill him, we need his blood for the ceremony. Which I assume was the scene where Dumbledore announces who won the house cup. They eventually got him back down, but not before he took a big bite out of one of the camera operators. Secret nine, a magician never reveals their secrets. They wanted the techniques for filming the magic scenes to be totally secret. 
Nobody who wasn't a main cast member was allowed on set. Not even me. So we'd have to wait locked up in our bedrooms. And whenever they shot the magic scenes, all the lights would flicker and the room would get super cold. The actors always looked so beaten up and tired afterwards. One time Emma Watson came back from shooting and her eyes were blank. She couldn't remember our names. There was one particularly intense magic scene where we felt the entire castle shake. We heard these horrible otherworldly voices echoing through the walls and a great beam of light shot up into the sky. The next morning, there was slime all over the walls and it smelled like fish. Now those are some special effects. It was so intense that both of the Harry Potter actors, Daniel Radcliffe and my buddy Dave, disappeared. A week later, they found Daniel naked a mile away from set. But Dave never returned. They said he was somewhere terrible now. How many kids do you think disappeared from the set? Let me know in the comments. Secret 10, the Potter curse. For the last behind the scenes secret, we'll talk about the Potter curse. It's always been rumored that if we ever revealed any information about what really went on behind the scenes of Harry Potter, then we would immediately burst into... <laughs>